Hello viewers, class 2 place values for numbers 200 to 1000 is what we are going to see in this video. This comes under the number concepts. Welcome back to my channel PMCE. In our first phase of class 2 place value video, we saw the place value concepts for number 100 to 200. In this video, we will be seeing the place value concepts for the numbers beyond 200 and up to 1000. Let us begin with by counting in hundreds. How do you write the number 100? It is 1, 0, 0. 0 is in the 1's place, another 0 in the 10's place and 1 in the 100's place. What is the number name? It is O-N-E-H-U-N-D-R-E-D, -E -E 100. How do you represent 100? In blocks, we know that 10 tens makes 100. Just like how 8 tens makes 80, 9 tens makes 90, 10 tens makes 100. Here let us see if there are 10 tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is your first group of 10. Similarly, you have your second group of 10. 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th and 10th. So we have 10 group of 10s making 100. You can also count it this way. See 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is our first group of 10. Similarly you have your second group. 3rd group of 10s, 4th group of 10s, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th and 10th. So we have 10 group of 10s making 100. It is very important to understand this representation because the rest of the session in this chapter will be based on understanding of the representation of 100 in this format. Shall we move on to the next number? So what do we have here? This is 100 and this is another 100. So we have two hundreds now. That will be number 200200. And the number name for the same is 200. The next representation of the number is we have three box over here. Each representing 100. This is 100, this is 200 and this is 300. So how do you write that number? 300 is 300 and the number name for the same is 300. In counting in 100, the next number we will be seeing is how many blocks of 100s we have here? 1, 2, 3 and 4. So it is number 400. 4 in the hundreds place, 0 in the tens place and another 0 in the ones place. The number name for the same is 400. The next number we will be seeing is how many hundreds we have here? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So it represents 500. The number name for the same will be 500. The next number we will be seeing is 6 blocks of hundreds. Let us count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So it makes the number 600. The number name for the same will be 600. The next number in the series will be 7 blocks of hundreds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So we have 7 blocks of 100 which makes the number 700. The number name for 700 is S-E-V-E-N 700. H-U-N-D-R-E-D. -E now let us move on to the next number. So how many blocks of 100s we have here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So we have 8 blocks of 100 making the number 800. 
The number name for the same will be 800. The next number we are going to see is 9 blocks of 100. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So we have 9 blocks of 100 making the number 900, 900 zero, zero, where 9 will be in the hundreds place. 0 is in the tens place, another 0 is in the ones place. The number name for the same is 900. The last number we will be seeing in this series is 10 blocks of hundreds. Let us count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So how much does that make? It makes the smallest four digit number 1000 so we have 10 blocks of 100 making the number 1000 let us see the place value we have a zero in the ones place another zero in the tens place another zero in the hundreds place and we move on to the new place value 1000 we have a one in the thousand place so the number name for the same will be 1000 so what did we learn here is 10 hundreds makes 1000. Now that we have learned counting in hundreds both in numbers and number names up to 1000 we can go ahead with building the remaining numbers from 200 up to 1000. Here we will be having block representation of the numbers. We will have to identify the number and also write the number name. So let's begin with the first one. So this is representation of 100 as we saw in the beginning of the session. So we have two hundreds over here and one single block. So we have two hundreds and one ones. So what does that make? Two hundred one. So we have two in the hundreds place. There is no number in the tens place and we have a one in the ones place. So what is the number name for this? 201. That's interesting, right? Let's see and make many more such numbers up to 1000. So what does this represent? We have how many hundreds over here? 1, 2 and 3. So we have 3 hundreds and how many ones? 1, 2, 3, 4. So what number does that make? So it makes the number 304. We have 3 in the hundreds place, no number in the tens place, and 4 in the ones place. The number name for 304 is 304. So let us see the next number now. So how many hundreds we have here? 1, 2, 3, 4. We have 4 hundreds. We have something new over here. What is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have 1, 10 and similarly we have 2, 10, 3, 10, 4, 10 and 5, 10. So we have 4 hundreds. 5 tens and 3 ones, 1, 2 and 3. So 4 hundreds, 5 tens and 3 ones makes the number 453. We have 4 in the hundreds place, 5 in the tens place and 3 in the ones place. Let us move on to the next number. So what do we have here? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 blocks of hundreds. And how many tens we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 tens and how many ones? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So we have 6 hundreds. 7 tens and 9 ones. So it makes the number 
679. Because 6 is in the 100 place, 7 tenths is in the tenths place and 9 in the ones place. 7 tenths makes 70. So we have the number 679. The next number we want to see is how many hundreds we have here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 hundreds and there are no tens. We have only ones. 1, 2, 3. So we have 5 hundreds and 3 ones. What number does that make? So we have the number 503. Tens place does not have any value here. We have a 5 in the hundreds place and 3 in the ones place. So it makes a number 503. Okay, so now let us move on to the next number. How many hundreds you have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have 7 hundreds, 1 10 and 1 ones. So how do you represent this number? Seven hundreds, one ten, and one ones. What number does that make? Seven hundred and eleven. Seven hundred eleven is the number name for this number seven one one. Now let us move on to another number. So how many blocks do we have here? One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8. So, 8 hundreds. How many tens do we have here? 1 and 2. 2 tens and how many ones? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, we have 8 hundreds, 2 tens and 6 ones. What number does it make? 826. And do you notice that hyphen in between? I have given you an explanation for why do we put a hyphen in between the numbers. Please refer to the phase 1 video of class 2 to understand why we put a hyphen between few number names. Let us move on to the next number. So, how many blocks of hundreds we have here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, 9 hundreds. How many tens? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 tens and 1, 1. How do you represent that number? 9 in the hundreds place, 4 in the tens place and 1 in the ones place. So, 941. Let us move on to the next number. So, what number does this make? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have 7 hundreds and how many tens? 1, 2, 3. 3 tens and we don't have any number in the ones place. So it makes a number 7 in the hundreds place, 3 in the tens place and 0 in the ones place. So what number does that make? 730. Dear viewers, let us take a quick look at the learning outcome in class 2 under the concept numbers. For place value concepts, these are the learning outcome in which I am sure you would have clearly understood how to count in hundreds and build numbers from 200 to 1000 with their number names. The remaining topics are back as beyond 200, place value and face value concepts, writing the numbers in expanded and short form are covered in the part 2 of the video. The link for the same will be provided below in the description box. Please click on to it to view the video. And viewers, all these concepts which are shown over here are also covered in separate videos. Links to all related videos will be provided below in the description box. And dear viewers, if you have not subscribed to my channel so far, please hit that subscribe button and also the bell button for regular updates. If you like the content, give a thumbs up and share the video to someone who it will be useful. Leave your comments both positive and negative. It will help me to improve the quality of the content every time. Thank you for watching my video.